Hey guys, so today I have a tutorial on this giant duct tape squishy. Here it is compared to my face, and it's a watermelon. So before I move on, the original winner did not claim the prize for the 100k giveaway, so I'm picking out a new winner, and the new winner is Catacorn. And also here is the giveaway winner for the squishy kiosk giveaway. So finally, let's get started with the tutorial, and I'm using this super stiff sponge. It's like a stress ball. It's the hardest thing ever, and duct tape. Since I bought the wrong sponge, I tried to make it slow rising by covering it with duct tape. If you guys didn't know, if you cover a squishy with tape, usually double sided tape, but this time I'm using duct tape, it will make your squishy more slow rising because it traps air inside. Oh yeah, and if you guys don't have paint, you could also use colored duct tape. That way you don't need to paint it, and after you duct tape it, you have a finished squishy. So as you can see, it did make it more slow rising, but this was a huge mistake because it was the hardest thing to squish ever. It's harder than a stress ball. And you need to use full force to squish this thing because the foam was that hard. It's just like a rock. But I just continued and I'm painting it with a mix of Elmer's glue and puffy paint. And you want to be careful when you're doing this because I mixed too much glue inside. You only want a little bit of glue and that's just so you could save on a little bit of paint so the paint goes a little longer. But this was a mistake because I mixed in way too much glue and it just turned it into a liquid. So I recommend you guys to put in less than one third of glue compared to the paint that you're putting in. Because it was so liquidy, it started like dripping while it was drying and it just dried like that and you can see like the bumps on it. So now I'm just adding the white stripe and this time I'm only using puffy paint. And now I'm just painting on extra details like the seeds and the face. At the bottom, you want to use a lighter shade of green and create stripes. And here is the finished product. I think it looks super cute, but this was a fail and you might want to lower your volume now. Yeah, so the squishy is basically like a whistle and the sound is so painful to hear. And this also turned out slow rising, but it's such a workout to squish this because it's like really hard. So if you're going to make this, make sure to use density foam and a soft one because the density foam I bought was like high density or something and it's as hard as a rock. I have made a giant duct tape squishy before with regular density foam and it turned out soft and amazing. So make sure to use the right foam. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.